The crash involving comedian Tracy Morgan hits close to home for a local woman. Her son died in a similar wreck. As News 13's Frank Crocker reports, the crash is calling attention to an effort in Congress that would loosen limits on how many hours truckers can spend on the road. It was three and a half years ago, not far from this spot on I-26, that Jackie Novak's life changed forever. Now she fights for tighter safety rules and is angry about what's going on on Capitol Hill. The work week of a long-haul trucker cannot exceed 70 hours and must be followed by a 34-hour break. That regulation was enacted last summer. It drew immediate criticism from the industry, claiming financial hardship for freight companies and drivers. A measure's been introduced in the Senate that would restore the old 82-hour work week. There is opposition. We can't go backwards on this. I, I refuse to, to believe that the last three and a half years of my life have been spent fighting for nothing. Jackie Novak never wanted to be an activist, but her crusade began October 24, 2010. Her son Chuck and four others died after a big rig rear-ended traffic stopped for another accident. Investigators believe the trucker had fallen asleep at the wheel. For the most part, the truck drivers are all doing what they can do and they're following the rules. I mean, you get, it's unfortunate accidents like that, that it happens. Greg Summer says long haul truckers all face a bad rap when a high profile case grabs nationwide attention. Summer believes tighter restrictions make his profession less profitable, that the cost is always passed on to the consumer. But Jackie Novak says the human cost must be weighed more heavily, that the Tracy Morgan crash illustrates her argument. She hopes some good comes from what happened on the New Jersey Turnpike. Nobody knows who my son is, but they know who Tracy Morgan is. I, I, I hate that it happened to him, but maybe this will bring the attention that, it, that these crashes deserve. The trucker work week change has passed subcommittee, still has to clear the full Senate and House. Jackie Novak is hoping that people contact their legislators and lobby against it. Reporting in Henderson County, Frank Crocker, News 13.